presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to Eddie in Boca Raton. Hey, Eddie, what's going on? Hey, Tom, how are you, man? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Good, good. It is a treasure to have TFNN every hour during the trading day to be there to help you, to guide you, and even to give you some peace of mind or like that, that somebody else is there with you while you're, while you're trading this crazy market, either well, up or down. Well, listen, we appreciate you growling problem with us out here because we wouldn't be out here, folks, if we didn't have all you guys, gals, tigers and tigresses as clients. And, you know, the market teaches you every single day, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Take a look at one of our four agreements. Love coming out of you makes you happy. The whole world can love you, but that's not the love that will make you happy. What will make you happy is to share all the love you have inside of you. That is the love that will make the difference. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 61. NASDAQ is up 74. S&P is up 5. Gold contract trading down $2.70 at $17.82 an ounce. We got silver off 27 cents, $24.17 an ounce. Light sweet crude off 78 cents, $82.64 a barrel, notes and bonds. 10 year note down 14 ticks, trading 130.06. 30 year off 12 at 157.24. And King Dollar. King Dollar is up 213 ticks, got outside its lower range again, rejected actually lower price, 93.771. Euro is at 116. The yen is at 113.97. The British pound is at 138 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. I want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. This baby wants to tag the highs, and I expect coming into Friday, we'll tag it on Friday. Uh, right now, the high that we're talking about inside the SPY, inside the S&P, is 454.05. Uh, bottom line, we've hit 452.91. Contraction of volume is a monster. There's no two ways about that. But the bottom line, you are holding price. And, uh, you know, you come into the, a Friday of a week that you've gone up, probability is that you're going to go higher. You know, when, when you go up four, four days in a row, folks, okay, up even to sideways, um, it's very unusual that you're going to go south on a Friday. Happens, that's for sure. We know, the, <laughs> we know in the market anything can happen, but bottom line, probability-wise, you'll probably still have a positive day. We take a look at the uh, NDX 100. Uh, the NDX 100 right now just got over the highs of yesterday, which is 376.65. Uh, we are at 376.70. So this will be intriguing to see. Uh, bottom line, can it, can it hold that price? Because what we are going to get inside the NDX 100 is that you're going to get a contraction of volume in a monster way. And you can see what just happened here. So check this out. Okay, this is the Qs. You can see the spike in the Qs is huge, man. I mean, and, and let me show you something here. Man. You're going to see this. NQ, this is the second day in a row that we had this. And you got some monsters moving this market in a, in a big way too. Look at this bar, and I can show you this bar. Just look at this bar, man. That's your 930 bar. Now, the, and this is in the futures market, okay? So, so picture something, folks, okay? You know, you can, you can make the case, okay, the market opens at 930, but this is futures. Futures are open 24 hours a day. They get active in the S&P, and, the, and then NQs at 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time in a monster way. This is basically uh, a trader, flat out, coming in, pushing that market around, and they did it. They did it again. And if I show you, okay, so that was, that's today, this morning. And you can see the, the, the contract volume just exploded. You're talking about 29,000 contracts in a minute. Uh, we just got, now this would be interesting here, you just got 10,000 contracts basically in the 10-minute bar. Now, it just took out. 
uh, basically a B point. So this is going to be really intriguing to see, can they really jam this thing coming into the close? Jamming meaning really send it higher. Because if you fail at this point, now this is where this gets cool. So pitch this. I'm showing you that the amount of buying that was done at 9.30 this morning. This last buy here was a monster. And two different things can end up happening when you, when you come up to highs, right? This bar can be all about that the, whoever the trader is, is looking for more buy points and they spike the market. And what I mean by buy points, folks, okay, is that you can put in, and large traders have this, okay, and, well, small traders too, but you can put in either buy points or sell points over the market. So what they were looking for when they spiked that, they were looking that are there more orders over the market for a breakout? And if there are, then you'd see that explode topside. If they don't see it, what they're going to do is they're going to sell the heck out of the market. That's kind of, that's, that's a way that traders set it up. And it's a smart way because the bottom line is that what you're doing is that you're pushing the market, and you can do this on the way down too. Bottom line, as you push highs and push lows, the market is always, they're, they're probing. They're probing the market, looking for those buys and looking for those sells. That's, that's the bottom line. Gold, gold contract out here. You know, this is going to be interesting coming into a Friday. It's always interesting coming into a Friday inside the gold market. And we have out here, you get a sideways move today. Uh, you get light volume, you get 130,000 contracts that are traded. You know, you get an inside day here. Uh, my take is that gold is building cause to first off get up to this 1837 level. We're at 1782. We take a look at the silver market. Silver had finally caught a bid yesterday. Uh, bottom line is that uh, you're giving back 24 cents of that bid today. Uh, not, that's not a lot. We've done 56,000 contracts out here. Uh, you're trading at a price point of 24.18, and uh, even on the weekly, it's going to be pretty cool because uh, you, it's looking to get up to this 24.95. What we made thus far is you made 24.55, and good old uh, let's go look at it for 30 year actually because I did the 10 uh, year note when I did the update. So the 30 year, okay, so the 30 year hasn't broken the swing yet. Interesting. Okay, so. There's still hope for notes and bonds, man, to go higher because this is what they have here. So your swing point is 157.03. We hit 157.07, and right now you have 157.23. Uh, yesterday, you had volume out here of uh, 499,000 contracts. You get 418 today. Now, 418 is still pretty big. That's the bottom line. And good old King Dollar. What King Dollar did, King Dollar got back inside its higher trading range. The, range with the, the number to keep your eye on the King Dollar is 93.729. King dollar right now is up 222 ticks. You're trading at 93.779. Um, so bottom line, once you get, if you reject lower price, guess what? It's going to try to make a run again. And uh, we're on a Friday, so uh, we'll see where this uh, shakes out. If we go to the euro, we take a look at the euro out here. Euro right now is trading at uh, 116. You got the yen. Where is the yen here? The yen is trading at uh, 137. So we'll see where this shakes up. I want to say hi to Landon. Landon, good morning, man. I love you, pal. And what that's all about, folks, you got to love it. Tommy's son, Landon, he wakes up in the morning, they got Ruko on, and he's listening to me. You got to love it. Four years old. <laughs> Stay right Are there, Are you folks. looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. 
The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now uh, trading down to 61. You got the NASDAQ up 81. Uh, S&Ps are up six and a half. And a good old Bitcoin. Bitcoin's down at 27,000, uh, 27,000, 2,700, uh, trading 63, 240. Now, listen to this, man. This is a trip. And I don't know whether someone could actually had taken advantage of this. Okay, so where is this? What happened today on Binance, right, folks, is that Bitcoin actually crashed all the way down to $8,000. Now I'm not quite sure whether anyone could get it at that, but on the on the on the platform, uh, the bottom line that's it traded down to that, and then they, they, they're claiming it was a glitch and it's coming right back. Now to kind of center us as to where we are right now on the ETF. Now listen to this. This is this is going to be really intriguing in the aspect of ETFs versus futures versus basically rolling future contracts forward. So we have only been in two days for Bitcoin, right? And the ETF is on track to breach the number of future contracts that it's permitted to hold by the CME. So check this out. This is amazing, actually. So after two days, Bitto owns 1,900 contracts for the October contract, which is the front contract, and you can't own more than 2,000. So, bottom line, they were within 100 of, of holding it. To avoid hitting the limit, now watch this, to avoid hitting the limit, the ETF has also amassed 1,400 November contracts, but at that rate, at the, but at the rate it's adding assets, the fund already has more than $1 billion under management. The maximum total position of 5,000 contracts can be hit soon. So, you have two different issues here. You can only hold 2,000 contracts of one month. You can only have 5,000, period, okay? So the immediate solution is for BITO to spread out its holdings into longer-dated contracts. However, when you do that, you distance yourself from the performance of Bitcoin, meaning that how you can track Bitcoin because, of, of course, you can say that, okay, I'm buying a future contract today at 63,000, right? And guess what? There's future contracts that are going out, let's say, uh, in February. And those contracts could either go for 85000 100000 or 40000 They could go back and they could go into contango. Contango just means, folks, that the further months, okay, are less expensive than the main month. Um, this could end up being a mess. And, and this is what we have here. This is only 
the first ETF. So you can picture when we get more of ETFs that are going to be basically trading Bitcoin. Um, but you know, very actually, when, as I'm walking you through this, I suspect that all the other ones right now, even Gensler from the SEC is probably sitting there saying, hold it, man. You know, even though we, we were going to say yes to these other ETFs, they might not say yes now. Pro, pro shares might have this all to themselves. Because pictures, why would you let more ETFs get into the marketplace when the first ETF is almost maxing out the whole market? Because what, what would end up happening, if you remember the, the oil ETF, folks, the way that the oil ETF imploded, okay, was the rolling of contracts. So the rolling of contracts basically um, gets expensive. For the ETF structure, there's absolutely almost no way that you can basically cover, ProShares wouldn't be able to cover what the contract is trading for right now. That, that's, that's the point, that's the, bit, the larger point. Anyway, we'll get our head wrapped around that a little bit more, but I, I think that uh, just looking at that aspect, there's, there's going to be some trouble in paradise here. Some of the higher volume equities, well, first, let's go inside the uh, Dow Industrials first. Because actually, let me just, I want to see how close the, the Dow got real close to its highs yesterday, too. Come on, baby. Okay, let's see what we got here. So, we got... Oh, look at this. We spiked them. Hold it, one second. 35,631. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, so we did. We took out the highs yesterday. Now you just got a sideways move. So, 35,631 is the high, and we took it out yesterday. So let's go see inside of the Dow the strength versus the weakness out here. And point wise, you have uh, Home Depot uh, putting 37 positive points, United Health 35, Nike 22. Taken away from it, IBM 78 minus, Caterpillar 19, American Express uh, 18. IBM, folks, is just a dead cat, man. I mean, this thing, uh, you know has been going down, I think, for seven or eight years now. Um, this one here today is a monster. Okay, so here, watch this when you bring this back. This is, I think, 210 was its high. Not 210 up there. Yeah, 215. 215 was its high. It was generated in 2013. Uh, this is a high volume low at 90 bucks. It's going to get tested. You know, uh, they got destroyed out here today. The bottom line is that, that that's wide open. So, um, it, it, IBM reminds me of like a, a GE, except the difference is GE uh, basically have cooked their books forever. Uh, the difference with IBM is that they're such a legacy and such a huge company. What they have done more than anything is that they just continue to uh, basically cut back on employees, uh, you know, trying to keep the uh, dividend uh, up. Right now, the dividend is still at 5%. They have 352,000 employees right now. Uh, Dollar-wise, this is what they reported last night. Last night, dollar-wise, they took in uh, 17.6 billion uh, to the top line, at $2.52 to the bottom line. You can see the contraction. The contraction of volume is huge, man. They they just not volume contraction of dollars. They have so look at this. IBM did 79 billion in 2017. This year, 74 billion. Next year, 73.3 billion. Every demographic is in contractions. They, they're, they're not big contractions, but they're contractions. And for a, a technology company, so to say, that's a problem. What IBM hasn't tackled is their legacy issues. That's what it seems like, okay? The bottom line is that very hard to scrape that, uh, start a new, start new thinking, the whole bottom line. Um, you know, guess what? Uh, just doesn't fly. Some of the higher volume equities uh, in this marketplace today, you have uh, Ford up 47 cents. That's kind of bid. You have uh, Ma Bell, that's down 21 cents. They came out with numbers. Numbers were good. Uh, that still pays a big dividend. Tesla, Tesla's a big one. That's up 27 bucks. Trading now, uh, 893. You have uh, uh, IBM's down 12, man. <laughs> uh, pretty wild. Pinterest is down uh, 128. 
uh, what you had out here yesterday is that you had PayPal, um, well, rumor-wise, looking at Pinterest to buy Pinterest. Uh, Pinterest went up about 10%. Uh, PayPal got absolutely smoked. Let's go see where we're at with PayPal right now. Uh, PayPal, where are you? Okay, so PayPal right now is trading. Oh my God, down another 14 bucks. This day, they don't like this deal, man. <laughs> Look what they just did to PayPal. PayPal in two days uh, just went from a price point of a 273 to 244. Yeah, they don't, they're, they're telling the market, we do not like you going into social media. PayPal, they make money hand over fist by just transactions. That's the bottom line. Dow Industrials right now, down 39. NASDAQ up 87. S&P's up 9. We'll come right back. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors tfnn is excited about our new software charting program the art of timing the trade chart in collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 33. You get the NASDAQ up 89. S&Ps are up by uh, 9.5. Let's go inside the NDX 100 and see uh, what's moving this baby. You got Match.com up 10%. Monster move there. Peloton up 4.5%. Big move. Netflix up 4.6%. And Tesla up 33 Taken away from it. PayPal's the big deal there at 5.5% down. T-Mobile off 3.8. Uh, Lam Research off 2. Now, if we get over to Netflix, check this out, man. You know, Netflix was already an ABC structure in the way up. And it looks to me, uh, this is going to be something else, man. This is going to, looks to me like another ABC up. So we got, yeah, man, 646. Let me see. That's your B point. 568 is your A. So we're talking about, uh, what did I say, 46? 
46 plus uh, the low is plus 46 plus 32 we got what 70 uh, 40, 78 78 80 to B uh, 88 93 693 it's taken out a B point today it's got the volume 693 is the number man it's it's a big number Tesla let's go over to Tesla and take a look at Tesla uh, Tesla right now is trading. It's another ABC up, man. <laughs> My God. But I think this through. My take is that we're going to have a correction, but when you get a couple big dogs like this inside the NDX doing ABC ups, different ball game. So you get a B point. Eight, this is a big ABC, too, man. Okay, so 877, 718. So we get 160 bucks. That gives you 960, that 1,020 on Tesla. I think that's going to be all-time highs, man. Yeah, 900. That's 1,020. That's intense. And, yeah, well, we'll see whether. So, here, what it, if you're watching Tiger TV right now, you can see the chart that I have up. You, you, your price projection is 1,020. That being said, what you want to look at, folks, is that this is a, I have a monthly up. You can see the last time that we get up there, how the contraction was so dramatic on the way up. This time, it's even more dramatic. That's, that's the bottom line. Uh, when you have a, a contraction like this, probability-wise, might take you're going to get a failure. Um, kind of right where we were. I, I wish that we actually got another 40 cents because this is what it did today. We went to 900 even. We gotta get our man, Mr. Basil Chapman on. He loves these even numbers. It is so wild when you think about it. How do you trade it like 900 even? But bottom line, it went to 900 even today. The high is $900 plus 40 cents. So what we're gonna get out here today, even on a daily basis, is a rejection of higher price uh, that being said, though, guess what? When you're only $6 off uh, and you're up $28, that, that stock's not done yet. To me, it's not done yet. That being said, though, guess what? <laughs> um, I would say when you put this together, look at this. Look at the amount of short positions now, folks. Do you remember we used to bring Tesla up? I mean, you used to bang, bang it out, whether it's 10, 15%. There's only 3.5% shot positions inside Tesla right now. That's pretty cool, man. I mean, he ran them all out. Good old Elon. I mean, he knows how to move markets. I can tell you that. There's no doubt about it. Let's go take a look at a few of the steel stocks out here. U.S. Steel first, okay? So I believe steel's going to be coming out with their numbers. Let me see what we have here. So U.S. Steel, 1028. There we go. Okay, so that's coming out next week. Uh, U.S. Steel right now trading the lower end of its consolidation. Actually, let me bring up Nucor because Nucor is the, one of the best steel companies out there. So Nucor, I think actually they, they came out last night. Hold it. Didn't they? 1021. Okay, so they came out this morning, and there's not much action happening. Okay, so let's see what new They missed. Look at this, man. How the heck do you miss on a when steel's so expensive right now. Okay, so Nucor, earnings per share was $7.28 versus, that's weird. Oh, I see, okay. So the estimate was $7.43 year to year. They did seven twenty-eight. dollars uh, The net sales estimate was $10.27 billion. They did $10.31 billion. Yeah, that's... And so you know what that must be, man? That must be, they're, they're pricing steel up. But the fact of the matter is, is that not much is happening here, man. So chart-wise, man, you know, yeah, we rejected like $98 at $101, but not much else is happening there. Let's go to the King Dog Amazon. What we know we have happening, I actually, yesterday, so what, what is it, October 20, okay, so today's the 21st, yesterday, I got the first um, flyers from whether it's Best Buy, Costco, I forget what it was. Uh, all your Christmas stuff now because we're going to be out. 
and was like, whoa, baby, here we go. You know, I just, I just cracked. I haven't read it yet, but uh, it, was a, it was a good pamphlet. And as soon as I did pick it up, I says, man, I got to start doing Christmas shopping. You know what's so wild about this, folks? Picture this. Picture, you have Christmas is December 25th. They used to always get us going the Friday after um, Thanksgiving, right? Black Friday. Now they're going to get us going right now. And it's going to work because I suspect most of us are going to go out and start ordering some stuff because, you know, you want to make sure you, you have stuff for the people you love. And, and the reality is, is that they I might be out. So you, you probably will. Well, and it's a lot easier going online. Both, both is happening. If we take a look at Amazon, Amazon today is up 31 bucks. This is still in a consolidation. You know, it had, it, had a, it had definitely a huge run last week. Let's see when they're going to be coming out with numbers. So they, oh, this is cool, man. Oh, no, oh, mama. Okay, the 28th. Next, a week from today. Oh, I wish they were coming out today. Okay, so they're coming out a week from today. They are going to be looking, uh, revenue-wise, they are going to be looking at uh, 111 billion to the top line, nine dollars to the bottom line. Look at this. This is amazing what they do in this quarter, folks. Okay, in this quarter, Jeff Bezos. Well, now it's going to be a new CEO, so it'll be interesting to see what he does. Uh, but they're saying fundamentally, they're telling us that they're only going to make nine dollars this quarter. And what that's going to be all about, folks, it's not. It's going to be that their expense ratio goes up so dramatically because they want to make sure that we are all very happy coming into the holiday season and making sure that whatever we order, bottom line gets delivered to where we want to get it delivered, gets delivered on time, there's nothing wrong with it, all of the above, and you can see that expense ratio. They're gonna spend a lot of money to make sure that that actually does happen. Uh, the GDX, let's go take a look at the GDX out here. Uh, GDX has been laying at this B point. Uh, we didn't have enough volume yesterday. The cool thing is, is that it's laying there now. So the B point on the GDX is $32.93. We're at 32.72. Long it stays here, higher the probability is wants to blow it away. And if we blow it away, folks, then you're going to have the ABC structures inside of the gold market uh, in spades. Pretty cool. Dow Industrials right now down 47. Nasdaq's up 79. S&P's uh, up seven and a half. Uh, stay right there, folks. We'll come right back with Jeff Dana. Uh, uh, Jeff Dana. Uh, Jeff uh, is a. Uh, candidate for the City Council of St. Petersburg, Florida. We'll come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors.
biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 54. We get the NASDAQ uh, up 76. S&Ps are up 7. Let's go to uh, Rich and Orlando. Hey, Rich, what's going on? Hey, Tom. How are you today? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Pretty good. Pretty good. It's a beautiful day here in Orlando. Uh, it's, that, that, we, this is our weather, man. From now, folks, you until next May 31st is... Clear sailing. Come on down and visit us, because it's insane, isn't it? I mean... <laughs> it really is. It really is. A couple of weeks back, Tom, I called you about Tilry, and uh, we were talking about that it's just not showing a sign of strength. And it seemed like here two, three days ago, it really did have a pop off the bottom. So my question to you is that, is this the sign of strength that we were looking for, or is it something or something else? I know. P L R Y. It's, it's, it, let's take a look at it. So we're talking Tilray, folks. Okay, uh, the for the last year, the low in Tilray is five dollars and twenty-five cents. The high sixty-seven. We're trading at 11.55, and all these pot stocks, folks, have gone one way uh, in a monster way. Now, what we did do on uh, Monday, no, Tuesday, is that you, you finally did get a sign of strength. We went from 10.03 to 11.83, so you had the wide price spread, you had the volume, and what that is saying is that now that Tilray does want to get up into the 16.67. So the real question, you know, and, and I look at these every day. What I end up looking at, oh, I, I see, okay. What I, what I end up looking at is the, um, the aspect of all the pot stocks um, and the bottom line is that uh, they all they all had a small sign of strength. You know, can you do me a favor? Can you just stay right there? Sure. Because I have an interview and we just got hold of them, right? Just stay right there and, and I'll, I'll do you the last okay. segment, okay? No problem. Thank Our you, guest Tom. today, folks, is Jeff Dan Dana. Jeff is a candidate for the St. Petersburg City Council. Uh, now, Jeff was a city councilor, folks, okay? We have term limits in St. Petersburg, Florida. So Jeff was a city councilor from 2005 to 2013. And if you know anything about St. Pete, folks, okay, this, this guy actually had done a huge amount of work at that time to get St. Pete where we are. We have term limits. He couldn't be a city councilor anymore. Well, he's coming back. He wants to be city councilor again. Jeff, welcome to TFNN. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. So tell us, why should we vote for you? Well, there's so much going on in the city right now. And like you said a minute ago, I was on city council before. At that time, we were rewriting the land codes that paved the way for the development we're seeing today. Yes. So the fact that it's here now, having someone with experience to manage it, get the best out of it that we can, not lose the character of our city, um, just be a part of it is just a good idea. And what do you think, Jeff, are the most, the biggest challenges for all of us in St. Pete right now? Um, what I hear the most, people concerned about the cost of housing, um, rents are gone up dramatically. Um, not wanting to push out our, our kids and hospitality workers and, and people that um, just want to stay here. And uh, it's becoming more challenging every day. And there's never, you know, you've been around long enough. I've been around long enough. The people listening to you have been around long enough. It seems like this is a problem everywhere in the whole country. We've been hearing about it for 50 years. And trust me, I, I agree with it. And it always seems like, okay, so what is, what is, what is some of the solutions for that? 
Well, I, th I think part of it is we have opportunities, and, and again, where my experience comes in, with zoning. There, there's places we can change the zoning to encourage um, development that will be affordable. We've certainly got plenty of underutilized retail corridors now that used to be filled with Kmarts and Sears and, and strip malls that have the opportunity to be apartments and, and mixed-use developments. So there's still, it's not like St. Petersburg is built out and there's no place to go. Yeah, now this is so cool what you're saying because what happens folks down here is that we've had, we have 4th Street that's getting built out, we get Central, but it's just as Jeff said, there's no doubt that there's plenty of other places that aren't even close to being built out because there's so much bread that has been in the downtown corridor. Let me ask you this, right? The, the violence aspect in St. Pete, what can we do about that? Because it's pretty intense. I was basically interviewing Driscoll yesterday, Gina Driscoll, and as I was interviewing her, unfortunately, another young kid, 16 years old, gets killed because he's basically has an air rifle up, you know, shooting well, aiming at a cop, but so talk to me about what can be done here. Yeah, this is, this is a national trend. Violent crime is up 30 percent. It is. Um, quite a bit of it is just, I think, COVID related. People have been stuck in their houses. They've been without jobs or they're, they're stressed out. Um, so, so we're going to have to deal with it. In a, there's certainly no one silver bullet that's going to fix it. Um, I think we've got a good police chief. We've got a good network of community leaders that will help us make those decisions as to which direction to go with. Um, I'm a big proponent of community policing. I think getting police in the neighborhoods as part of the neighborhood structure so they know what's going on on a, on a first name basis with everyone is a big help. You know, I wonder why that that hasn't, you know, and, and I absolutely agree with you as the, it's a demographic because, you know, I remember when I, when I was a kid, uh, the bottom line is that, you know, whether you, from 14 to 19, things are very violent. It was the most violent age then. And then the demographic went down, and you know I, I remember reading all these articles that oh everyone's doing a great job. But my take is that when you have more kids, there's more violence, man. And we demographically, we definitely have more kids now. And you know, so it's like that's part of it. There's no doubt. The frustration's another part of it. Um, the, let's talk a little bit about preschool, like programs, okay? Because it, it would seem that you know if you can get someone young. Well, maybe they'll have a shot to do better things. Yeah, again, and I think that goes, again, back to the, the community policing, um, teaching kids at a young age. And I, I witnessed this. I live in historic Kenwood, which is a popular, stable neighborhood. It wasn't the case 30 years ago. And witnessed firsthand kids that, you know, when the police officer come up to my house because I was involved with the neighborhood association to drop off something for the newsletter, sure. half of them would run and hide. Um, teaching them and, and watching them come around to see that this isn't the bad guy. If you stick around, you can check out the inside of his car, play with the lights, get a sticker badge. They, they learn at a young age, this isn't a bad guy, he's here to help you, he's on your side. Um, it's a good way to start your early years out. Yeah, there's, there's no doubt about that. And, and it's a shame that even across the country that community policing hasn't been uh, kept up. That's what it seems like. I mean, when I was a kid, a pitcher, I mean, I grew up in South Boston. We had it. The drive us crazy, man, kicking us off every corner. But the bottom line is that it did make a difference. There's no doubt about that. Um, where are you with the Rays, the Rays field? I think this is, you know, that the, the, it's such a big part, a part of such a huge discussion. Having 85 acres in the heart of a popular downtown to redevelop is just an opportunity that's amazing. And I don't think most people have realized just how big that opportunity is. It, it's actually 12 or 13 projects wrapped into one. Yes. Um, the Razor definitely can be a component of it. I like the idea of a mixed use stadium. We don't need two stadiums nine blocks away from each other in downtown St. Pete. It would free up some waterfront land if the Rowdies moved uh, in with the Rays. Uh, but the hospital district expanding, USF expanding. Um, again, there, there's nothing in the country anywhere near 85 acres that's on the horizon for any city right now. No, there absolutely isn't. Listen, folks, you can go to Jeff Danner. That's uh, D-A-N-N-E-R.com. Check out De Jeff. Jeff, I wish you luck. Look forward to having you on again. All right. Thank you very much. Thanks so much. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is down 45. NASDAQ is up at 78. S&P is up 8.5. Thanks, Rich, for holding. Appreciate it, man. Um, so, now, do you own Tilray yet, or are you looking to buy it? No, actually, I had gotten out of it when we spoke a couple weeks ago. Okay. But uh, I was looking for the, the sign of strength, and it, like I said, look looked that, like that's what we got a couple days ago. So I don't know if it's, I hate to, you know, I hate to buy something that's moving. I'm looking for the pullback. But I'm not sure exactly what we've got here. That's why I'm calling. So what I do is this, right? It, what happened here today, folks, is this, is that we get over the high of two days ago. We're going to close underneath it. You had a monster contraction of volume. We did uh, 29 million uh, versus going up on 68. So if you get a retest, which I expect you're going to try to get of this 1003, and you get a rejection of lower price with lighter volume, then, I, uh, then I'd go for it. That's, that's kind of okay. how this is set up. Now, so you'd be, be looking at it something close, close to 10 then, like 10, yeah, 10, 10 right, something like right that. Right where it started from, 10.03, yeah. 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 And, you know, and what I would do, and I would still put a really, really tight stop on it at the beginning of the trade. The reason being is this, like, I've been looking to buy Canopy for uh, over six or seven months, okay? And Canopy didn't get down to where I thought it might, okay? It, you know, it, it got down to uh, 12.86, but I actually thought it was going to get into this, like, uh, $9 area. Um, now, it doesn't mm -hmm. have to. I'm not saying that, okay? Because the top of the, the bar that I'm talking about, uh, Rich, the bottom of the bar is $9. The top of the bar is $12.55. We got down to 12 dollars 
and now it looks like that wants to take off too. So, you know, I, I think in, in this space in general, you can give yourself uh, a lot more of a stop. The reason being, like Canopy. Canopy, to me, you're trading $14 and wants to go to 38 And if we go back over to Tilray, and I'm talking on a longer-term basis now because that's how I think right, you're looking right, to right. get in, okay? So if we look at Tilray, what you're doing there is that that is trading... Uh, let me put this on a weekly quick. We'll 11 this. Yeah. yeah, this thing wants to... This wants to trade to 25 bucks. So, you know... And you're at 1150, right? Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. Thank you, Tom. Thank Thanks you. for being here, folks. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 o'clock in the morning. Great show. Yeah, we'll get him, folks. Building wealth trading.